you very much, Tim, and thank you all uh, for coming out tonight. We were just in the back discussing the new T-shirt, which will have an Ann Arbor symbol on it all in green. It'll say, I survived the winter of 14. And we're all going to need one of those, uh, I think, as, as things move along. Um, now, I appreciate you mentioning the Alliance to Save Energy. We're hosting a, a conference, which uh, will have national invitees here on the 31st. And that will be, uh, we're doing that in conjunction with the University of Michigan and the Alliance to Save Energy. So it, it's a, kind of a big deal, and people will be coming from all over, we hope, to uh, attend that conference. It will be in a wonderful new auditorium over at the business school, which I'm told is a lead gold building. So that's a... That's, that's a good thing, I guess. Uh, but we'll certainly be there. Uh, I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk about, uh, well, certainly some of my co-conspirators on the Energy Commission are here tonight. Uh, one of them will be our, our moderator. Um, and let me mention, too, we also have one of our city council members with us, uh, Christopher Taylor, uh, with us. Uh, thanks for coming out tonight. And we have uh, Missy Stoltz from the uh, Parks Administration Commission. And we have Environmental Commission members as well. And we're, I think, we, where are we have in environmental? Yes, oh yes, we have one right here. Okay, so we're, we're, uh, we're covering the basis on that. And I just wanted to talk a minute about what's happening nationally and, and bring that back to the local level a little bit. Um, when you look at what's really happening in our country and now in places around the world, and I gotta tell you, I'm very disappointed in Canada in the, the, the kind of turn that they've made uh, away from moving towards climate protection. Uh, and, and they're doing it, uh, with tar sands, really, uh, and, and they're trying to spread that into the United States. But that's only part of it. <laughs> uh, but if you take a look at our, at our national government, whatever we think about their gridlock and their, on, their inability to agree on anything, they're not going to do anything. There's nothing on the horizon that they're going to do to combat, combat climate change. It, it does not appear that they're going to get it together to do anything. And in fact, uh, there are... On one side of the aisle, a, a number of deniers, but then even on the other side of the aisle, there don't seem to be enough folks that want to push this issue hard enough to embarrass the folks uh, on the other side. So the task has fallen to cities for the most part. And if you look at Seattle, if you look at other cities across the country, Chicago's trying to do their part. Cities like Ann Arbor, Madison, Boulder, we're certainly trying to do our part. We, we've been at this for a long time in Ann Arbor, which makes our task a little bit easier. It also probably makes it a little bit harder. It's harder for us to make an improvement on the energy we use because we've been trying to save energy for so long, and we've made so much progress. Back in 2011, we hit the, uh, the benchmark of 20% renewable energy for everything the city government does. And the task now is to spread that out and to get our, our uh, citizens involved and our businesses involved. And I'll tell you, this is part of that. This forum, this series of forums, is part of getting the public on board and educated about this issue and moving forward. And there are many, many people in Ann Arbor who have already taken it upon themselves. You see roofs. Uh, I see the owner of a home here tonight with a roof uh, covered with solar panels. Uh, and there's so much insulation going on and so many things like that. Companies are taking advantage of the PACE program, Property Assessed Clean Energy, where the city will help them to make their, their building more efficient. One of the pieces of legislation that's come out of the Energy Commission, which I've sponsored for the next uh, agenda of city council, will start a program where buildings, the larger buildings, we're going to start with them first, will report their energy usage. And when you get to them down to the reporting of something, as we all know, when the environmental movement finally got the EPA to force companies just to report the amount of pollution they were, they were producing, we began to have a tool that we could then use to say, hey, you need to reduce this. Uh, this is damaging the environment to this degree. And it actually became uh, a point where companies were, were trying to become more green. And we're very hopeful that what's happened in some places and the other places in the country, this is something that's happened in larger cities, you begin to see building owners taking advantage of this information to say, I could be saving money, and that's what reducing energy use really is all about. Uh, I can not only save energy, I can do something green, I can save money. And when you get to that level, it's a lot easier to get, uh, perhaps easier to get people's attention. But these forums are building up the education of our community, and that's our next task. We want to continue. We want to get the city to 30% renewable energy for city government, to 40%, to 50% renewable energy, but we also need to get the general public on board and moving forward uh, towards renewable energy, a big, big part of that 
Doesn't mean you've got to put up any solar panels or anything. Just become as well insulated as you can be and use as little energy uh, across the board. And it really is uh, something that can be joyful as you participate and you try to move forward in, in these types of endeavors and obviously can be good. These little steps uh, are what we're going to have to do in cities across the country because as I say, uh, nationally, I don't think our government is going to do anything for a long time. And that's a sad story. But we, uh, we can be happy here tonight. Uh, we have some good environmentalists with us. Um, and we have one of them that's going to lead off our, our panel. That's Mike Schreiberg, uh, who is someone that I have uh, the pleasure of serving with on the Energy Commission. And he's going to be introducing the rest of our panel. And I, we will get this uh, evening started. Mike? <laughs> 